so to be able to come here and learn about what other people are doing and how what other perspectives they're gaining on real world problems has been really helpful for me. I don't have time. I have four preps a day. <laughs> I have no time to create these wonderful curriculum that some of these other teachers are able to do. I can borrow their curriculum uh, and implement it in a way that I think will provide more meaning not only just for me and my own teaching but to all the students that are down there. Look at the size of the stormwater drains on the street, and particularly in Seattle. They are very small, they are very old, and don't take a large capacity of rain. Now what are we experiencing? High intensity, short duration, one, two, three hour storm events that are creating urban flooding issues. It's radically changing the way we're going to end up having to deal with the interface between water supply, wastewater, and stormwater. And so green infrastructure, what I'm going to talk about today is how we can decrease our footprint on the downstream environment. We stay on that track, otherwise we may wind up back in the previous graph and run out of water. So we're going to look at tools for how we can accomplish that, delay that project, maybe eliminate it, and get back to a scenario where we have a cost-effective system serving our customers. Well, I was inspired to hear what's happening around Washington, particularly here in King County, and I was excited to hear about all these projects like Z Homes and local levels down to on the Seattle, what they're doing at the street level, and I'm excited to bring those into my classroom and show them to my students because I think they'll get excited about it and really integrate that into the curriculum and take it forward. With Next Generation Science Standards, I think it's much more possible for us to bring the projects in. It lines beautifully with the Next Generation Standards. So I hope to see more projects, especially locally based projects. Because a lot of the curriculum look on the global scale, but bringing them really close to home for students where I think that's where they're going to feel empowered to make the change happen. It's so much good stuff and trying to figure out exactly how to do it, what to do with it, when to do it. I, I want to be able to sit down and not be interrupted and just go. I'm excited about today. I have 30 pages of notes already. We're actually going to do student-based um, student problem-solving local models of water reclamation and habitat restoration projects and model them on a small scale for a parent open house in February. So I'm going to take all this information directly back to my students to inspire them towards that goal.